FlossTube. Welcome back to FlossTube number 38. This is going to be a super quick one today because I've been having constant calls and texts from my son. Labour's on. At the moment, she's got a bit of a high heart rate and they are a little bit worried. So, you know, I'm kind of in constant contact with my son, so I'm going to make this really short. Um, not such a good week on stitching, actually, this week. I don't actually know why. Um, I have actually been, where's my thing? Um, taking part in the, I've done the enchanted stitching almost, and I've just got the um, magical stitching stitches to do for this week, which are gonna be penalty stitches. So I'll work through with you what I've worked on so far. Let's go, I can't even remember what I did for what. This one, I did a bit of Riley's notes over there. Moving things out my way. Where did I go? 390. It was for a prompt, but I don't honestly remember which one. <laughs> so. Or do I? Hold on. I don't even. It was after Friday. I won't remember. Um. I don't know. Anyway. I did 200 and 390 stitches again, all in this black. I've just been filling in because I've marked, still got these little marked squares that I need to stitch around. So that's coming along. This is on 18 count Ada, two over two, full cross. And do you know what? I'm, you can tell my head's somewhere else. This is the picture. <laughs> I know you see it every week, but that's what I'm working on. And I am down in this corner still with all that black. There are some blues, but I'll get round to that. The next thing. Um, what did I pick? Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Now, 400. I think it might actually be more, and I've just not noted it. But I've got written down 446 stitches. It doesn't look too much. I think the only thing I've done is this blue right here, I think. And I've seen a lady on Facebook, oh my day, she's got like 21 pages completed. I can't remember if she's done the first, the full top row, but then she's worked over on the left and gone down. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Anyway, this is 25 count fabric, one over one full cross. And going well. So that was that one. Then um, I actually got one out that I haven't had out for a while. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it. Um, it is this one, the Elegant Geisha by Dimensions, the Petite Range. You you guys know it's been a while, but it fitted a prompt, and it was something to do with. Uh, stitch on something you would use to cover the smell of his bad breath. It's still the same film, isn't it? And I can't remember. Pocus, pocus. So I have, um, I said flowers. Flower, you know, a lot of flowers that cover the smell. So I've actually gone in and stitched a bit more this side. Of the pink flowers, you can't, you can just see it, but not very well. This, like, cream, that's tent stitch. So when I did tent stitch, I didn't count it until I'd done two halves, because then that counts as one stitch. So I was having to double it up, and then I moved over. I don't think I did any of that pink. I honestly don't remember, but I know I did this blue. This has worked, I think it's 18. No, I don't think it is, actually. Bless you. It is actually 18. Why does Riley's fabric look so much bigger than this one then? The holes. It was anything, it, it's using everything that was in the kit anyway. So that's, and I don't, I know it was over 250, two, it's either 200 or 250. I think it's 250 with enchanted stitching. So I know I did more than that because I did it for the front. Then the next thing I worked on was my pandemic. This was used for a stitch on something white that could have been either fabric or floss. So it's on white Ada, so we went with that. And I think it was 274 stitches I did. 
let's fold it in half and again don't know why i unfolded it to be honest anyway nope this side nope we'll go this side then <laughs> it's still awkward no so it's just literally this the i've carried these two lines on and then i've filled in this bit right here like i said it's like minimum stitching this week and that's worked on 20 count one over one full cross and back stitching i'll put that away in a minute sorry did i just rock you guys i got the picture out and didn't show you of course so i'm still working from here to there so open this section up here still enjoying it though that's the point isn't it the last thing I worked on, um, which I haven't finished this, the prompt for, because it said stitch on, no, stitching gold, orange or yellow. So I went with, because if it's colours, it's autumnal colours, I went back to my stitch on and me sell. I did this one because there's a lot of orange and yellow in that one. I did this one because there's a lot of orange and yellow in that one, but these two didn't, so I dropped down. I did the um, castle thingy and I counted the windows because they are yellow and a couple of the stars. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. And the stars are yellow. And then I went, I moved on stupidly. And I did this one, which is meant to be toilet paper. But because I'd actually gone from here, skipped two and gone to here, this one was meant to be here. But because I jumped down to here, I just kept naturally carried on. So whatever should be here is going to go there now. So it really isn't going to make a difference. I suppose you can do them wherever you like. And that's just the way it is. It's going to end up in the wrong place. But it's all still good. This is on 28 count. Even weave two over two. And it's the 2020 Stitch Anime Cell. I am fairly behind because we're like on day 20. 30. 30? Wow. Day 30 now. So <laughs> I got some catching up to do, which I will I will do. Um she's been kind of busy all week. I think she only touched one pro one um project really this week, and I think that was only about 10 stitches. She got sidetracked doing her little gacha thing that she does on TikTok. So the only other thing this week that I've done, and it's not cross stitch related, I finished Riley's Toy Store and Diamond Painting. I actually sat the other night, and by the time I put it down, I hadn't actually realised it was 10 to 11, just as I finished it, and it was like, oh my gosh, I sat down with it, I think, about 7 o'clock. Yeah, and I finished it. Amazing, Riley's excited. It's actually come out really, really well. I was a little worried about how dark these tones were for the side of his face, but when it's done, it looks good. Just got to frame it now for Riley. And then the only other thing I'm close to finishing is Ellie's, which is the Disney princesses. I filled in, this was last night, all this yellow. All that yellow and the yellow over here too. I think that might be why my back strained this morning sitting at the table so long. But it looks good. Ellie helps me, and when she's had enough, she goes and I carry on. When I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood. So, yeah, I think that's everything. I've just got to go and wait now for news. It's a shame I didn't get it before now. I could have, I could have told you guys, but sadly not. Um, her water's broke at five o'clock this morning, so Reese left me a message. Uh, contractions didn't kick in. I say they didn't kick in. She's been having like, they are contractions, but not very often, if that makes any sense, for a couple of days. And then when her waters went this morning, she obviously rang the hospital and they said, come down, you know. I'll check you over. They sent her back home, and I think she went back to hospital about half an hour ago um, to be checked out. And 
my son was waiting in reception because he's not allowed in unless he's in established, well established labour. Um, and then he messaged me really quick before I came on to say that they're worried because Courtney's heart rate is too high. It's higher than what it should be. So it's just waiting to hear now. Hopefully things go okay for her. I wouldn't wish any harm to her. Um, so yeah, when I know, you guys will know. Um, exciting. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. You guys always do. You're amazing. Thank you for any comments you leave. Me and Ellie look forward to them and enjoy reading through them. And I will always heart emoji or reply so you know I've seen them. Um, take care, guys. Stay safe. And have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.